hi, this is Robin Moses, and I am here with Miss Juicy, and we are going to do a faux finish of um, granite marble. And I think that what I'm going to start with, we can start with a million different ways, but what I'm going to start with is I'm, I have a watercolor palette that I got from Michaels, and I, oh God, here we go. Hold that, yeah, thanks, Juice. Okay, so my water, oh, it looks like that. It's $4.99 at Michael's, and I have it sprayed down with um, water. I didn't so, know you No, no, it's okay. <laughs> and, I, and I'm starting with white. Okay, now when you use watercolors, um, when, you, when you top coat them, they kind of become see-through. So I'm starting with watercolors, and I'm going to use a whole bunch of different uh, stuff. And it's going to be kind of hard to follow, but I'm just going to hope that the ones who use a lot of crafting stuff can follow with. So I have the white out. I'm going to go in. Are we in frame? And thank you. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the white watercolor and just kind of uh, get it across. If it starts to pool up or or, bl or blob up, then um, use a matte top coat. As you see, Juicy nicked this one, yeah, but it's it okay because we can totally fix that. So then, then you put the white on, just very sheer. When I top coat this, it almost turns clear again. So I'm going to go like that. Get a whole bunch of different kinds of stuff going across. Like that, okay. And then I'm going to go in with some pink. I'm putting the pink up against some of the white. Pink up some against the white. See how cloudy that is? Oh my gosh, it's so, see when I put the next one on there, how it almost dissol dissolves into invisible? And that's what you have to keep in mind, is that top coat, this invi it becomes invisible. So I'm going in like this with the pink next making no rhyme or reason just kind of leaving purple and pink i used a lavender and then now i'm white and pink can i see the other one juice <sighs> sorry it's all right now i'm going to go in with blue a tiny bit of blue a light blue I'm trying to get some dry time in <laughs> i know i'm sorry no and so um there we go less nail gel yep and you are hateful in nail gel, so let's dry those nails, girl. That's what we need. We need a Robin Moses nail gel. <laughs> <laughs> do we? Yeah. What kind of nail gel do you think I would make? I would have bars on it. Yeah. And it would have a it would have a like sad face. Your fingers in. <laughs> yeah, it would have a sad face on it somewhere, and then a little. But look, as a the little... timer goes on, it can have a smiley face turning into a happy one. And oh my one God! Comes. Ding! And it's You're smiling. done. <laughs> How? <laughs> Get out. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wait, and then it says next. That's right. That, that, at no, the that end. nail gel is just for me. All right. Get out. <laughs> Get out. And okay, my my brush is full with watercolor, right? Now I'm going to go in and then okay, here you go. This is the fun part. And then I lift up with my brush so it barely makes a dot and then I push down and then barely come up again. And what that does is it makes the vein of the um, marble push down and then come up and roll your brush. And that's fun. That's like doing eyeliner on a nail. I like it. And it makes like lightning. And that's how I've done lightning nails before. And um, yeah, look at them. Look them up. They're fun. It might be weird, but I think this is kind of cute without anything. I do too. <laughs> if if you like wouldn't have fallen pastel. asleep, I I don't know what. If you would have felt like really asleep on me just now, I would have totally just kept going. <laughs> Who knows what I would have came up with? There would have been like some kind of princess and stuff on there. Okay, so okay, so. I want to like kind of like block it and make it to where the whole nail. Then I'm going up against the black just enough to give it a purple yummy look. And then putting some purple there and pushing that down and around and turning some of the lines purple and then keeping some of them black. Push, 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 pull. And Yep, Juicy's all making a baby, all tired, falling asleep on me, and my new puppies are falling asleep on her, and isn't it all so darling? 
So I'm going to finish this out and meet you back and then I will. Okay, so here is with the top coat over the first layer. So do you see how much it went went to um, clear? There's like so much went clear from using the, the um, watercolors. Sorry, my light keeps going out and I'm just too lazy to fix it. So, okay, so now I'm going on layer two. So layer two, I'm gonna go up against the, the lines and just kind of like smash them down to where they make cleaner lines here and there. And if there's a bubble of pink or something, I'm gonna clean that up. Just kind of make it more marbly and give it more definition. So what I'm doing is I'm eyelining the liner, if that makes sense. So it's, it's, mm -hmm. If I was going to do a, a, tutor, a makeup tutorial, that's what I would be doing. I'd be eyelining. So there's the eyeliner. So let's that's roll down. Playing footsies with you. Is it? I thought that was you playing footsies with me. Don't lie. You ain't got to lie. You ain't got to lie. That's what you should have named one of them, Craig. Craig. You should have named them Craig and Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna cry in the car. <laughs> Okay, so, so there's this one, and I'm eyelining the line with white, and then just really taking my time to push and pull up and push and pull up. And you know what? Anybody who has the brushes, this is a great tutorial to practice your brush, um, uh, your tension of your brushes, because hey, this is how this is how you feel your brush out. So if you need brushes, Robin Moses, Robin, Robin Moses brushes at Yahoo, and I'm selling them from here right now until I get my store up. But the store should be up pretty soon now. I had gotten behind because of my house needing all this work on it. And um, hopefully I'll look back at this tutorial years from now and laugh. Oh, remember, it wasn't that funny. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, it's not funny right now. <laughs> No. My house Art. is a big shell. It is a shell. Just a shell. It's terrible. But at least it's not condemned. Mm -hmm. And we can still live in it. So, yay. Mm -hmm. So push and pull, push and pull. That. Now, um, let me see the other hand. I'm going to get some blue in there. I'm going to have to cut with each time I scrape up some colors. Mm -hmm. Save some time. Yeah, because it's going to be 40 hours of me just picking Do you want me up to color. Spray it? No. It needs to be kind of thick. Okay, so there's the blue. Let me see. And then I will do some black. Just to give it some dimension. Oh, that's not working. Um, I will have to use something else for black there. I think I used a Sharpie on the other hand, but um, I feel bored with that now. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> you can do everything so many different ways with nail art that, you know, come on, let's be real. The only thing that, that you can't do with everything is the trending stuff until it's figured out. That's the only thing. Right now it's the... It's the nails that are chrome. So you can't do chrome nails until they figure out how to do it cheaply. But I've been trying that forever. You need the powder. So that's how you're going to make the black look a little bit dimensional. And what I did was I just poured out some polish that was uh, clear with a little bit of black poured into it. What I used for my smoky black tutorials. And um, that gives you the same effect as doing watercolor. And that's why nail art that's hand painted is so fun, is because it's problem solving with what you have at a very like inexpensive price. Like I don't have to buy anything for this. And it just keeps getting more badass as I go, you know? It's fun. Where is my gold line going to go? And then I'm gonna press press and then pull my brush, turn it and roll it in a circle. 
I don't want to ruin any of the good parts and I want to cover all my mistakes or the stuff that could be better. That's the way your line's going to go. So go here. That's a little bit uh, a little bit harsh. So I'm going to soften that with the gold. That's a little bit thick. So I'm going to push some gold into there and make it like fill it, fill it in. And you can take that and take it to the end, fill in. And it looks really great against the purple. So you want to go against the purple as much as possible to pop it. And that's, and that's how you kind of use it just for the. And Juicy, Juicy said, do you have any trends? I mean, do you have any um, tutorials on, on uh, marble like this? And I said, no. And because I do try to avoid the trends until they're not trends anymore, and then I do it my way. Because I don't like to, like, uh, I don't like to over saturate something when it becomes saturated. It's just not my style. I, I feel like I'm interfering with other people's stuff because other people like they rely on trends and I rely on hand painted nail art so I wait and just do my own thing and, and this I is I didn't even know it was a trend yeah I know I you saw didn't it on a phone case right oh I know but that's the reason I didn't do that on you is because everybody was doing this with sharpies and I I did try it on the other nail on the other hand but mm -hmm. I mean this is just as easy so and pretty yeah. And nobody has a Robin Moses one yet. So. Not yet, but they will. And when you do, show me on my Instagram because I want to see it. And when you do it on my Instagram, will you do the A, the, the a at Robin Moses Nail Art so I can see it? When you do the hashtag Robin Moses Nail Art, I sometimes lose it because a lot of people that... No, do both. Do both? Do at oh. Robin Moses Nail okay. Art and then hashtag inspired by Robin Moses. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. See, I don't know how that works. All I know is that I get to see the at ones. Mm -hmm. I, I am in vision. I can see them. I like to click the hashtag just because then I get to see everybody's stuff. You do? Uh-huh. I've never clicked the hashtag. I don't know how to do that. Oh, yeah. That's oh. why I like Okay, that. see, that's what she teaches me out of the, out of when I'm out of camera. So, because I don't know how, you know, you guys say that I sometimes don't answer your questions. Well, sometimes I don't see them because I go to, like, seriously, like, 20 different locations and try to do the best I can do. So, there we go. And I will top coat one more time, and I will let you see these nails. Now, I have some stones, and I might do some stonework on the, on the brown nails. And um, if I do, I will meet you back and show you. Okay, and here is the end result. Let me, let me, uh, let's see. There we go. So let me just look, let you see in here. Look at the different dimensions because they're really beautiful and fun and creative and they come and they, they, they like match with everything. So I want to make sure you guys can see like how awesome they are. They're really fun and they're just so beautiful for fall. I'm going to try to get these edited ASAP. Anyways, I hope you guys like. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And you can catch me on Instagram, Facebook, and all that stuff. And I will see you back with more. What am I forgetting? Brushes. I already said that already during said this that tutorial. Earlier. But Robin Moses Brushes at Yahoo. I'll give you all the info. And that's I guess everything. that's it. Everybody have a great night. Bye. Bye. Whoop, whoop.